The second thing I want to address is specifically for Catholic priests when somebody comes to you in the confessional. Now, if you're a Protestant pastor or a minister of any persuasion, you can apply this certainly uh, to yourself and those who come to you. Because I think what often happens is someone comes to the sacrament of confession and they say, look, I looked at pornography three times or I masturbated or I fornicated or something like that. What do you do? You know, you want to be helpful, but you know you don't have all day. And what are you going to say? Well, here are four questions that Father Sean Kilcoley recommends asking. Number one, when were you first exposed to pornography? I think this is an important question because people who have ongoing issues with pornography are usually, uh, will, will say that they were exposed at an early age. If they were exposed much later, in their late teenage years or their 20s or something like that, typically it's a lot easier for someone to remain free from pornography. But if they say to you, well, it was very early, eight years old, six years old, 12 years old. All right, fair enough. The next question, how often do you fall to pornography? This is a good question because of course, in the sacrament of confession, confession, I'm only obliged to tell you those serious sins I've committed since the time of my last confession. Well, maybe I went yesterday or maybe I went last week. So just to say to you, well, I looked at pornography once doesn't give you uh, a full understanding of what I'm going through. If you say to the penitent, how often are you falling to this sin of pornography? How often are you choosing to view it? Well, suppose the person says to you, ah, they might say once every three months, once every six months. Okay, well, I would say that certainly it's a problem to be looking at pornography, but this person isn't in over their head necessarily. And you might suggest a few resources that they can look to to help them never look at it again. But if they say to you every week, multiple times a week, multiple times a month. Okay, well, if they say that, then you can move on to the third question, which is, are you seeing anybody about this? Now, there's a big difference between, no, I'm not seeing anybody and yeah, I chat with a mate of mine. There's a big difference there. And hopefully they are chatting with a friend of theirs. And then there's a big difference between, yes, I'm chatting with a friend of mine, or I'm actually seeing a therapist about this. All right, now, hopefully they're seeing a therapist about this. That, that's the ideal. But this thing needs to be brought into the light. No recovering porn user gets over this stuff alone. Here's the fourth question. And this question, in a way, is a little abrasive. You as the priest or minister will say, do you want to stop? And you ask that in full sincerity. It's not a rhetorical question. You're actually asking, is this something that you'd like to stop? Now, Father Sean Kilcoley, who told me about these four questions, says usually at this point, people will pause taking the question seriously. And then they'll most often say, yeah, yeah, I, I want to stop. In which case you as the priest might say, well, okay, if you want to stop, I can help you stop. And I'd like to invite you to meet me outside of the confessional where I can give you some more guidance and resources to help you with this. Now, don't worry, you're not agreeing to being this person's, you know, weekly or what have you, uh, guide or therapist in this. Okay, that's not what we're, we're not trying to give you as the priest or the minister more work. You probably have enough going on as it is. But it might be more appropriate to meet outside of the confessional where you can then point people to further resources. Now, if it's a young woman coming to you and it's not appropriate if you're a male uh, to meet with them outside to discuss this, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, having someone in your area, a young woman or an older woman who can talk to these young or older women about these resources could be, could be really helpful. And so you could say, okay, if you wanna stop, I can help you stop but I need you to meet with this person. You might have a card on you, you know. Um, she'll meet with you and, and she'll point you in the right direction. So I think these are really helpful. Now, if you do meet with the person, what are some things that you can suggest? Well, we've got tons of resources here, but let me just name a few. Covenant Eyes is the best filtering and accountability software on the web. Understanding that a bit more so that you can explain it to the person who meets with you.
sa.org, right? Sexaholics Anonymous, sa.org. You can meet online, you can meet by phone, you can meet in person. It has a way to see if there are any groups in your area. Finding a certified sex addiction therapist or just a good Catholic therapist and asking them, who should I be bringing people to if they are struggling with pornography, right? So you have someone that you can then direct them to. Finding obviously a good book can be helpful. I wrote a book called The Porn Myth. There are many other good books you could, you could have at your disposal. If it's a young woman, point them to magdalaministries.org. This is an online community of women who are trying to break free of pornography. And if they're a man, point them to a resource I created. It's a 21 day detox from pornography course and it's called Strive 21. So if you go to strive21.com, you can sign up there. It's 100% free. And it'll be like having a coffee with me for 21 days, only you're doing it. We've literally had about 40 or 50,000 men go through this course at this point. And I kind of guide you systematically over the course of 21 days. Please go check that out, strive21.com, strive21.com. So those are a few helpful tips. Let me know what you think below, especially if you're a, a priest or a minister, let us know below what you've found helpful when interacting with those who've opened up to you and said, look, I'm struggling with this. Hopefully we can all learn from each other.